in her range. Trading points a bit here, and they're not really getting into rallies. Well, the temperature has definitely dropped quite considerably in comparison to the sort of early stages. Three. It's just going to get colder and colder as the night goes on. Well, Hoti Locke's movement doesn't look too comfortable out there at the moment. And out. Eleven, five. We're showing It would have been up. But clearly, she's having to just go for outright winners, and she's not able to move like she no. would want to at all. No, I mean, you can even see it no, just no, on the court, back. but she stepped on now, so she doesn't want to do any more damage. Might be time no. to. And I don't know. I don't think this would become a fond memory. Why? Well, second game goes in favour of Joshna Chinapa. Well, there you go. We thought it was on the cards. Hosi Lok is struggling with her foot. There is no point in her carrying on. She wasn't able to cover the court. She's trying to explain to the referee that she's stopping. Very polite young lady, Hosi Lok. But that is confirmation of Joshna Chinapa getting through this. She takes it three, love. Control from King. She's made the most of this first game, Vanessa. Settle her down as well. Nerve yeah, wise. she's kept her composure, hasn't she? Slightly odd movement there from McCowie. Like she's slightly. Absolutely, and uh, King's sort of onto it now. She knows exactly what's coming. She's moved her T position forward. She's ready for the attack. She's probably sensed the uh, lack of movement from Macaui. There we go, and it happened. Slightly lucky for McCowie, but she'll take it all day long. We've got a match on our hands. Yeah, that's better. The last two rallies from King. Just going for the straight drop. So obviously feeling a bit sort of hurried and flustered on there. Area again. Four game balls for a 2-1 lead for Joel King. She gets through this match, which is still early. 
early viewing, Vanessa, then she'll be more relieved than anything else. Yeah, she's not going to get that. She's done quite well, though, sort of mentally to hold it together and certainly looks to be trying to do the right things again with the straight drop. Macaui read it that time and charged in. Joel King shouting towards the big pyramid. Done very well to get herself back to it. She's gone for it, made the error. So living on the edge there, McCarwee. Joel King will be relieved. She gets a day off to kind of regroup. Until cool. this point, it's been Norton who's been bossing things through the middle a bit more, making Chavini go to the corners. What a shot. She's getting Shabini to commit to that straight ball. And out. Uh, she was actually caught Seven, a couple of times on the backhand by the Shabini hold, but uh, unleashed. And the racket work is definitely there from Shabini. Just looks slightly off with her movement to me, just lacking a little bit of sharpness in her movement around the front. Oh, it's a perfect shot. 13-11, great to Sherbini. Sherbini leads, one game to love. Starting to gain a bit of command in this match. Control got starting to go towards the Warrior Princess, and she's starting to move into those front corners better. Five, two. Just giving the front away a bit too cheaply there. Punished by Norel Shabini. Some serious court coverage going on for Norton. She gets a reward. So it's one all in this third game. Well, because yeah, well, the t it's the timing of an error like that, isn't it? Yeah. You exactly. know, you'll see, it's not like you'll never see Shabini make an error like that, but, you know, two love down, 5 3. There's a lot of very clever work <laughs> in, in close, in proximities like this sort of area where. And there it is, nicely finished by Noel Shabini. She was certainly tested, especially in that first game. All credit to Holly Norton, but not enough in the end to stop the rumbling juggernaut that is the Warrior Princess. She advances through to the next round. And I'm sure she'll build from strength to strength. 27 minutes in duration, three love to Noel Shabini. She took it 13-11, 11-7, 11-4.
Well, this is a rip roaring start for Le Pantia. Well, I don't know if you noticed that in the head to head. It's three love for um, Serm, but Millie Tomlinson has yet to win a game actually against uh, Camille Serm. I think they actually played a non. My memory is a little bit fuzzy at the moment. Good to see both the ladies with the heart rate monitors on. <laughs> Camille Serm trying to keep the pace nice and fast, as you would expect. Crucial for Tomlinson Five. to uh, not let that happen too much. She's a very different type of player. Yeah, she needs to the best I've ever seen her play was at the DPD. I'm not yeah. sure. I think we were commentating. It was against uh, El Walili. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was a very, very good performance from her on a, on a very dead court as well, which is even more impressive. So she's definitely got. She was taking the ball in re short really well. She was match. very aggressive and she was volleying a lot as well. But she's got the ability to do Seven. it. Camille Serm is on a massive, massive mission. Brilliant. Really nice finish there from Sir. There's a few chances in that rally for Tomlinson. Camille Sir looking to close out this second game. Five game balls. A very, very solid two love lead. It's a little bit of a shame that uh, everyone's kind of nearly departed from the crowd, Vanessa. Obviously, they've. Uh, Left with the Warrior Princess. Yeah, Sam certainly deserves a slightly bigger crowd with this performance because uh, she's making this look very comfortable and Tomlinson is a quite an established player. There's the finish. Nice play there from Tomlinson. Using the racket face.
there it is. Camille Serm closing this match out. Better in that third game from Millie Tomlinson, but uh, too little, too late. Three-love win for Camille Serm.